So in this video, I'm going to cover App Engine Flex with Node.js and it'll be web app debugging. So first of all, I'll install the Node.js Eclipse plugin and then I'll import the Hello World, go through the debugging of the Node.js web app, talk about the breakpoints, stack, and variable inspection, and then I'll show a little auto assist. So to get started, there's a quick start that Google's got and the guide covers the requirements such as the cloud SDK and NPM. And so, but I'm gonna skip a couple of these steps and go right to the Eclipse plugin because that's the first thing I wanna talk about. So let's go to help install or the Eclipse marketplace to install. And I'm gonna search for Node.js once the, the library is loaded. So I'm gonna go Node.js, I'm gonna do a quick search for that. And once it loads, I'm going to find Node.js and you can find Node Eclipse 102 and this is the plugin I want to use to debug my app. By the way, if you're here, I'd star or favorite the application just to show your thanks for the, uh, the contributors for developing this plugin. So the next step, I'm going to click on install and it's going to load up. Okay, so Node plugin is ready and install and these are the default plugins it looks like there's a few dependencies in there I'm gonna click um, confirm and go next and just keep the default set the license I'm gonna click finish accept and finish and then we got to restart Eclipse with the new features so once the Eclipse is restarted we'll talk about debugging the application so Eclipse is restarting okay so the node features have been installed so the next step is I got to create the project and before that I got to import the code. So I'll go to Git, GitHub and copy the link from the quick tutorial. And here we go, the JIT clone. And I've already copied it and pasted it here. And I'm going to put it in one of my Git directories. And it'll clone to my local repository. And after I've cloned it, I'll import the sample app. Now they've got quite a few different sample apps you can import from here, but I'm gonna do one simple app for this guide or this video today. Okay, so the git clone is done. So I'm gonna go to Eclipse. The next step is to create the project and I'm gonna go new other and I'm gonna search for node. I want to create a Node.js project and import the existing sources or use the existing sources. So I'm going to name it Hello World. And I'm going to use the, the App Engine location that I just imported. So that's in my brand flake training. Git node samples. Okay, so App Engine. And then there's a Hello World servlet or hello world and I'm going to import that so once I get that I'm going to click on open so now I'm going to select I don't need to create from a template and I'm not adding to a work work set okay so I'm going to click finish it should create the project with the, the resources okay now there's a simple app JS with the the code let's just quickly look at that what it created it's a simple request and response of just outputting hello world or rendering hello world to that the request or response. Okay, so now the next step is I want to install and I don't know the quick shortcut to install from the clip, so I'll go to the terminal and I'm gonna go into that same directory where, okay, so I'm gonna go brand flake uh, training it and then app engine examples app engine and then I want hello world and once I'm there I'm going to run npm install and this will download the dependencies and build the project initially take care of the, the initial things that needs to bootstrap so there we go we got it all already so now we can actually go debug the project so what's how do we do that Okay, so once we are ready to debug the project, we're going to right click on app.js and go debug as node application. And this will create the launchers needed to start up debugging in the App Engine Flex environment. Now that I've started the project, I'm going to confirm perspective switch. And remember, it's going to go to the debug perspective. This is a good 
perspective where you can break point. It sets an initial break point, it looks like. And we're just looking at strict. So we're just going to hit move along. And there we go. We're listening on the web page. So now we can go to Chrome and open up the web page and go to port 8080. So now we've got the web page up. Let's go to port 8080. And there we go. Hello world. Let's just minimize the browser a little bit. Go back to Eclipse. And we can see that we have a simple app.js. And you can see the Chromium icon here and then the actual code here. I won't talk about that feature, how why it's split at the moment. Let's go back to the, the node perspective and we'll just change a character in here and refresh. We'll save it. Go back and reload the app. Okay, so it didn't reload, so let's go back to Eclipse and we'll just click on stop. We'll go to the debug perspective and we'll stop the application. And we can restart it by going up to debug hello world app js. And there we go, the initial breakpoint. We'll hit next. We can see we're ready to go and then we'll go back to this and reload. There we go, hello world too. So let's set a breakpoint in the code and see what happens. So we're in our app js. We want to pause on the request before it responds back to the client. So let's just change the increment. Whoops, I'm in the wrong one. I'm in Chromium. We want to go to app.js. We'll do the breakpoint there. Let's clear this on the other source code. Okay, so let's go to breakpoints. Looks like that's sticking for some reason. We'll go here, move all. Yes, go back to JS and we'll go to app.js, do a breakpoint. Okay, so now when I reload, it should breakpoint. There we go. And then here's our stack on the left, our variables. We can inspect the, re the request variable, which is kind of nice because you can see what the probably the headers are and what's coming across with the cookies. And we can look at the breakpoints. So there we are. Let's cover the last feature. Stop that real quick. Go back to the, the editor. And we can look at auto assess, request s, control space, and we got status and we can use the auto assist to help us write the node.js in this node.js plugin so that concludes this video thanks for watching and keep tuned in and i'll share some more cloud tools and features in the future keep your eyes peeled and catch you later